Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your money career finance focus reading for the sun moon and the rising sign of Libra. Libra please keep in mind that this is your monthly money career reading. It's a group reading for the month of November 2023. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others and if you really like what I do on the channel please do like subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Now I'm going to do even your uh, money reading into two parts. First, I'm going to see your specific cards for money career finances. And then I'm also going to see the uh, tarot card for the month of November for money, career and finances. Let us see what messages do we have with your oracle card reading. So you in your animal spirit messages, you have the spider spirit. Then you have the buffalo spirit and then you have the dragonfly spirit. Okay, and in your oracle cards you have the unconditional love, guardian angels, you have inner goddesses and let us also see what messages do we have with your monology. Because it gives a good indication about your cycles and the time periods as well. You have a full moon in Aries. And then you have a mutable moon. And then you have a new moon in Taurus sign. Okay. Now if I see your oracle card reading... I do feel that Libra, there is something which is taking little more time. I do feel there is a del there is a delay and it will take little more time for you to see, uh, you know, visually uh, in reality your dreams or you will find it little delayed in seeing your very strong money, career, finance, wish fulfillment or a desire. The spirits, the spider spirit says it's Make your dreams real. So you have to be very practical, very logical. And something I do feel when I see this card that you are you are blocked with your own vicious circle of thoughts. Maybe you need to be very realistic with your plans and strategy. And this is the card when, you know, I do feel that you are struggling to come out of this thought process. And for a lot of you, this is not just a thought process. This is the period wherein the delay is uh, continuously moving for months and a year time. You need to make certain modification in your planning, in your strategy, in your dreams. And the Buffalo Spirit says that the abundance universe will provide. This means that even if you are not getting the result right at the movement, you feel that you are working very hard, you are pouring all the necessary a time energy and effort into receiving a specific goal even if you don't see right now the abundant universe will provide sooner or later you will be able to manifest you will be able to achieve whatever you feel you need to achieve in your money career and finances and the dragonfly spirit has a message for you which says truth transcends illusion you need to come out of your own dilemma your own illusion your own set pattern of working your own set assumptions and limitations you know when you talk about professional life the way you look at things and the people look at your things is absolutely different a midway is going to work out for you wonderfully well when i see these oracle cards for you in your goddess oracle, you have love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. And this is talking about that, you know, uh, developing any kind of bitter feeling or negative process, negative thinking, negative pattern, negative vibration, because you because I see that there is a delay. There is a struggle in the month of November. So do not develop anything against yourself or anything against the situation or anything against the person because it is from the divine side, from the universe side, from the nature side that the delay is happening because of you eclipse but then it is because of your own karmic charts as well. 
but you and your loved ones are absolutely safe and there is nothing to worry with this struggle with this challenging time whatever you need whatever you require money wise or professionally or whatever your financial needs are you will witness that you will receive this for sure you and your loved ones you know if you are targeting one direction and if you are not getting the result on that one direction one path or from one other option you will see that the the door are opening on the other side so you will be supported by one or the other means this is the way how the angels protect you from the other side and the card of inner goddess says awaken the goddess within you through dance self care and appreciating your divinity the more you are feeling happy contented from within and the more you will realize that this is just the temporary time and this will end soon you will be able to do little self care and that will give you uh, in a better that will offer that will help you in creating a better aura better energies for you which will attract what you want so that is a law of attraction which is going to work for you now in your monology card you have a major major resolution which is which you are going to see in another 4 to 5 months a very chronic difficult situation will come to a a climax but that will not the result is not going to be 100% the way you want it will come with a modification with a change but that is going to take little time so this could be an end of a struggling period in your career or i am hearing from my angel message that this could be a struggling period in a very important legal case for a lot of you so yes if you feel that things are dragging things are not moving it will move forward but 100% the it will not into your favor but yes resolution will come so you have to modify your needs accordingly roughly around 30 to 40% you have to modify and rest will be will make you little satisfied that okay uh, finally it is resolved and you are out of that struggle period right now nothing is yet set in stone because things are coming in its shape nurturing is going on you know and i do feel that there are a lot of uh, things will be unfolded to you in the month of november so after seeing your oracle card reading i just have to say that you know don't don't make your hard work less put whatever you can and don't wait for immediate results or immediate answers because in the month of november i don't see that you are going to get immediate results of what you put or what you say that oh i did so much and i am i was waiting for it i don't see there are immediate answers which are coming to you in the month of november and then there is a new moon in taurus which says prosperity lies ahead and you also have a card the abundance universe will provide so there is a reconfirmation there is a reassurance again and again that yes what you need you will get it but that will take little time for you for sure now let us see what messages do we have for you in the month of november for the from tarot so i'm going to pull three cards for first two weeks so let us see how your first 15 days from tarot is going to be look at your reading libra you need to hold your patience hold your courage hold your power hold your inner power because there is too much of strength you need a very strong leo energy a presence of leo energy into your reading i do feel that somebody from leo sun moon rising is going to come and help you in your professional end of yours and with this card with this with this presence of strong leo energy i do feel that there is a very strong a very big force uh, which you are supposed to handle a turmoil a situation just like a very big a giant kind of situation a huge situation professionally but only your patience your calmness your will power or your inner strength by this only you will be able to handle this tough situation and the other card is the four of pentacles it says don't take any action impulsively any action in a rush manner hold on hold on your decision hold on if you are planning to leave a job don't leave it don't make a shift right at the moment i don't feel that you should take any major step movement action in the month of november it's the time of taking the month little lightly hold on what you have so whatever money you have hold on don't go for investment don't spend extra don't spend on luxury in the month of november uh, i do not mean to say that you stop enjoying life but unnecessary stuff materialistic things which you don't need immediately 
which can take little more time and your work is going on because of this and you can take little more time so you know you can spend later on also on the materialistic luxury which you don't need immediately uh, use your savings wisely and grab whatever you are receiving right at the moment hold your job hold your uh, source of income hold your savings hold your investments tightly and it's the time when i think you will be also will be little rigid yourself not so open in spending uh, there is no harm in becoming little miser when you know that it's a tough financial time it's a tough financial uh, you know period i do see that november month is going to be a very important one to be you to behave very sensibly with your money with your finances in hand so just hold on your money for the time being and till the time you feel that okay now the opportunity is coming now the uh, time is coming when you can spend lavishly now you also have seven of swords which says there are some past issues concerns problems which are still uh, you know you, which are still popping up in the present time now running away from that situation problem or struggle is not going to help you you need to be there in that situation and try to see if you can contribute to its resolution or to its solution because that is something which is going to help you out now let us see what messages do we have in the last 15 days of november so you have a major arcana coming in which is the devil so you do have major cards in both the uh, part of november you have ace of wands and then you have the star now this is a very powerful reading uh, libra you have two major arcana cards in the last two weeks of november that is third week and fourth week of november it tells you to leave all those addictions or all those habits which you feel are making you away from your goal from your target when you see the devil card in a reading and that too in money career reading it tells you that there is some habit some addiction which is making you far from your own priorities your own professional priorities you need to identify that because this addiction this habit of yours which is taking you away from your from your from your targets and priority it's only you who who are holding this habit and choices you know habit and addiction by your own choice the moment you will be ready to leave it and and you will be able to promise yourself that okay this is making me away from my target i need to resolve it and i will be very focused from right now you will see that there are changes coming in however but the two cards into your reading that is ace of wands which is followed by a star this is a very promising tarot card combination into your libra reading for the month of november there is a job opportunity there is a contract a very powerful contract coming in your life this is a very long wish fulfillment so basically this is what i see that this is the blessing which is coming to you from your past karma or from your angels or guardian angels who are actually protecting you over this tough period over this struggling time this job opportunity is a wish fulfillment for you that means if you are targeting or since long if you wanted to have a particular job or a particular contract or you want to get in association with a particular organization this two card tarot combination ace of wands and the star talks about that wish fulfillment and ace of wands is a is a very strong presence of aries leo sagittarius energies these are contributing a lot into your last two weeks of november now let us see what angel of abundance message do we have for you and i'm going to pull out your divine door messages and your money making magic deck as well let us see what angel of abundance message card do we have for you it has released jealousy this is very important it says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifest exactly as you affirm let others people successes inspire rather than frustrate you and if they can have it so you can also have so you know uh, this is telling you to surrender 
the need to control or need to have something similar which you feel oh this person have this my colleague has this so should i but then you need to release that jealousy you need to release that control because whatever is destined to come to you it will come to you for sure and let us see what money making magic card do we have for you it has the lady rinth it says transition to a higher level of being raising your energetic vibrations enlightenment now i would suggest you to concentrate completely on your positive vibration and concentrate on what you want during this time the more you are shifting your energy from what you don't have to what you want that transition is really going to help you in the month of november and let us see what messages do we have from your divine door cards and we have the silent skill it says i challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace the soul can unwind breathe in and breathe out let go of your doubt completely the moment you will let go your doubt and anxiety you will see things are falling into your place and the card of for mystery says to take help from tarot collective destiny or fortune tellers it says the palm lines even will help you from birth tell your sacred palm mystery listen to the notes of intuition taking help from your intuition and your occult can really help you and the last card of the reading is nomad the nomadic wanderer lies deep inside so take the leap now don't crawl back don't move back into your past whatever you feel you have lost there is no point in mourning you are done with that karmic cycle i do feel few of you have lost your income your job some opportunities let it be past cannot make your present or future your only positive thoughts your hard work your effort this is what i'm trying to tell you since beginning of your reading don't reduce your hard work rather pour more so that once your time comes because prosperity is lying ahead the abundant is there for you so once you decide that okay i'm going to pour more hard work and the result will should come you know on its own uh, at the time when it is good for me to receive when you leave this to nature you receive ten folds of your hard work it's up to you how much hard work you want to do because ultimately it's only you who is going to receive ten folds libra do let me know how you resonated with your money reading post money career finance reading i'm soon going to start your yearly reading also okay i was thinking about your weekly readings also so let me complete all the money career readings and the weekly readings and then i'm going to start your yearly reading yearly 2024 group general reading not a personal private reading you know very well that in case you want to take a personal private reading you have my email id my whatsapp my website in the description box and all the videos and you can book the reading accordingly I will see you next time very soon be blessed